HWS vacuum molding plants. Please pay attention on the details of the vacuum molding process. The pattern film will be automatically drawn on the pattern and sucked onto the pattern by the vacuum. The pattern plate is connected to a vacuum pump system which generates the vacuum. Connecting and disconnecting of the pattern plate as well as later on the molding boxes to and from the vacuum system is done automatically. Ingate and risers are placed on the pattern. Spraying of coating could be done manually or even automatically. During the transportation of the pattern to the next station, heated air will dry the coating. Molding boxes transported with automatic hydraulic handling systems will be set on the pattern. During the filling of sand, a high frequency vibration ensures a uniform distribution and compaction of the sand. A cover film, which is the same as the pattern film, will be automatically drawn on the back side of the filled molding box. It allows to evacuate the complete mold and, as a result, the sand solidifies. Mold lifting will be done by automatic hydraulic handling systems to guarantee accuracy and quality of the mold. Following, the mold will be automatically transferred to an automatic indexing roller conveyor. A long core setting line ensures that core setting and other works on the mold can be done comfortably. Core setting can be done manually, but also automatically. At the end of the core setting line, an automatic closing unit will finish the molding process. Automatic employed clamps ensure that the molding box is held securely closed during the following process steps. For pouring, the mold will be transferred on a rail-based automatic conveying system. Support for the mold during transportation is a pallet car. Indexing of the line will be done by automatically hydraulically indexing cylinders. During all the process steps, including pouring, it is necessary to hold the mold under vacuum. Connecting and disconnecting of the mold to the vacuum system will be done automatically. After pouring, the molds are transferred automatically to the cooling line. The molds will be transported through several cooling lines until the casting has cooled down to the required temperature. When the cooling time is over, the molds are transferred to the emptying station. At the emptying station, the molds will be automatically disconnected from the vacuum system. The casting can be taken away for further processing and the sand can be recycled for treatment and reused on the mold box filling station. The molding boxes consisting of lower and upper box will be automatically declammed and disassembled and automatically transported back to the start of the molding process.